guys, Ice River has upped their game. They have branded tape on their boxes now. How's it going? This is Motor City Miner coming at you from my basement mining mini miner farm where I did, yes, just get my KS0 Pro, the one that I got $100 off from Ice River for almost guessing the price of what this was going to be accurately. Uh, the price is at, at launch was $429. I had guessed $439, so I was one of the 10 closest uh, to the correct answer. So I got $100 off. So thank you, Ice River. Appreciate you sending this. Uh, and yeah, going to open it up here, uh, do a full review, see what this Ice River KS0 Pro can do. Again, I do have uh, four KS0s um, and have had those for pretty much since the first and second batch way back in the early summer um but yeah now i got a ks0 pro i actually do have a fan for it as well because um i did have like all these fans came in packs of two and i had at 1.5 uh miners i did sell one to chili um but uh so i still have one fan left so that's awesome i already got a fan ready for this guy so let's crack this open and see what this thing looks like but i assume it's gonna look Pretty much the same as those. Alright, so far it's looking the same. Got the nice Ice River pink foam that I've come accustomed to at this point. And underneath it, ah yes, there it is. I did not get a PSU with mine because, again, have extra PSUs just like I have extra fans. So, um, saved a little money there. But if you do need a PSU, they do sell them. And supposedly the KS0 Pro, since it uses more wattage, comes with a, um, I believe it's a 150 watt PSU or a 120, I can't remember. Um, but either effectively get you to that 80% rule. So we're gonna try and pull this out. This is just as snug as I remember for all the other ones. I'm gonna probably have to put this phone down because man, they are in here deep. So we'll be right back. Once I get this out. All right, so we did finally get it out of the box. And the first thing I noticed, look at this. Ice River just up in their branding game. We actually have branding on the miner. And it's honestly pretty minimal and like, but like in a good way. Like, you know, I really don't mind it. It's definitely starting to really look like a PS2 at this point now that it has branding on it. But yeah, n nice little touch there from Ice River. You know, having their little sticker and logo on there. Uh, looking at the other side, um, you can see obviously they updated the information. So this, this is a pro series on the underside. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Got our two uh, 40 millimeter fans. So I'm gonna get, uh, get my fan and we're gonna try and set this guy up. All right, so got all my stuff over here. I uh, got my USB fan uh, that I had left over. Also got the PSU. This is a 180 watt PSU. Uh, trying to future proof that way if there is ever an overclock for this. Right now there's not. Uh, currently this use, utilizes a different firmware where apparently they have patched um, the vulnerability that allowed you to install um, other uh, overclocks. Um, but I did notice something on here. So... There is actually some other differences between the old model and the new one. So you can see here that this side has both the ethernet and the USB, whereas the original only has the USB on this side and the ethernet and the power share on this side. So it looks like the motherboard has changed in it enough that, you know, the plug locations are actually different. So uh, just something to point out there, but I'm gonna go to get and get this all together and put it up this one's gonna go in this spot here on the my wall rack and uh, once i have it up here we'll uh pop on over to the computer and see what this thing can do oh and uh one other thing so uh, i get asked this all the time these screw holes in the ks0 and ks0 pro are m3 size so you'll want to make sure to buy m3 screws i have a whole giant pack of fairing lengths here um, but that way you can attach these. So M3 um, screws are the size you're looking for. You can find them pretty much any, you know, hardware store, Amazon, wherever you want to buy them. But that's how you'll attach these fans. Uh, so just figured I'd mention that since you get that question all the time in the comments. 
All right, guys, it is on and ready to go. I kind of like having this studio here. You know, it gives a little more. I mean, the other, the other ones just have uh, the serial number, which this one does have on the other side. Um, but kind of kind of like the logo there. It's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hop over to the computer and see if this thing has shown up. So we're in the computer now. I did forget my better microphone, so I do apologize for that. But uh, we are in the computer, as you can see. I have found the IP address, my local IP address to log in. Again, for Ice Rivers, um, the name is gonna be admin and the password, this default is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not put a nine or a zero, it won't work. And you can see that, yes, we uh, just recently booted about 12 minutes ago. Uh, and it is already mining um, above 200 giga hash. And I'm going to assume mining to one of Ice River's wallets. And just because I'm curious, we're going to copy this over um, to Caspa Explorer and see what's going on. Um, hopefully it loads here. Oh, there's a nice big gap there. All right. So it looks like Ice River, one of the accounts they, you know, pre-mine, test mine, whatever you want to call it to, has 409,000 Caspa worth. It's currently $51,000, so good on them, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it is up and running. We're going to start switching out all this information, but everything else on this KS0 Pro looks pretty much the same here. Um, you know, just the standard mining settings, just like before. Um, I did notice that it automatically had the fans on which is different than the KS zeros, which automatically have them off. So it does put them to some speed immediately. Uh, you know, IP settings, user settings. Uh, these are all pretty normal stuff. I don't believe there's any updated firmware. I know there's no overclocks yet, and essentially there may or may not be one. Um, the vulnerability that was being used are utilized by developers to institute overclocks on the KS0 has been patched apparently according to some of my sources uh, but that doesn't mean there isn't another way to overclock it or another vulnerability which uh, I'm sure with some tinkering they will find some so if there is everyone I'll definitely be following up on how to do that to your machine for now I'm gonna quickly pull up Ice River's website just to see if there is um, multiple versions of a firmware for the KS0. It's been a while since I've been on here. I think it's under tutorial. Yep, here we go. Um, so this is where you can find all your manuals and then the firmware download button is down below. So we're going to press that and see what we got for KS0 Pro. I actually don't even see a firmware download for the KS0 Pro. We just have the normal, so it doesn't look like they've added that to their website yet. Um, so yeah, hopefully yours works out of the box or else you might be in for some trouble. So um, yeah, the only thing I really got to do is quickly update these to my, um, my pool information. I don't use backup pools. Uh, I've never had really good luck using backup pools pretty much any time I have backup pools on an ASIC miner. Like, if you have like one millisecond of downtime in your internet connection, which, you know, on a home internet with crap like Xfinity probably happens at least once a day. Like, I'm just constantly chasing ASICs and trying to figure out what pool they're mining to. So, I, you know, I monitor my stuff all day, every day. So, um, for me, it's not really an issue. Um, I just manually change it if the time does indeed come. Now, so I just need to copy in, I am using K1 pool. So you can see I have K1 pool. You can see that I currently have my case, my four KS zeros on here. I do have a KS2 as well on the way. It just has not arrived yet, but we're gonna get my KS0 Pro onto this. So, um, Press the start mining button. And this will tell you all your fun stuff. And, you know, Ice River KS Zeros have their own uh, SSL port. Um, obviously, I'm in the USA. Um, and TC port, TCP port, sorry, has both of those. Um, but you're going to want to use the KS Zero one, mainly because that's the difficulty that is at that. They do not say KS Zero Pro. 
um, but considering the KS0 Pro is much closer closer in hash rate to the KS0 than the KS1, I'm going to assume this is probably the best port to use is the KS0. That also would align with the fact that my KS0s have been working fine, and they're all overclocked to like 180 giga hash right now, which is only 20 less than what the KS0 Pro is doing. So we're going to copy over our TCP port, and we're going to throw that in here. So there you go, that's, that's that part, we're all set up with our K1 pool. Um, I need my CASPA address. So the K1 pool is a little weird, so I actually won't use my K1, uh, my CASPA address. So if you're using K1 pool, they actually give you um, an address to mine to, and this is not CASPA specific, this is their, essentially their account for you and it's for all the different coins that you can mine on k1 pool um so you, you mine to this address and then they pay you out to your caspa address which you add within um you know your actual account information you there is an option on k1 pool to do anonymous mining where you don't you know set up a, an account on their website um but you do have a lot more restrictions on ability to set payout thresholds and all that other information so uh, but I'm going to take that and throw that right in here. I believe this still needs to be, so um, I think the last part still needs to be your worker, dot worker. Um, so this should be KS0, and then I'm going to do underscore pro, because I only got one KS0 pro. And password, we'll do optional, and I mean, I just do X, because that's what you do. And with all, it's typical to all ASIC miners, you'll probably want to do a restart after updating your mining settings. Because half the time, it doesn't actually apply them, even though it says it does. Uh, and that's not just an ice river thing, that seems to be a thing with all ASICs. So um, we're going to see if it pops up here on the pool side. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have all five up here shortly. Alrighty, so you can see that the KS0 Pro has indeed connected to the pool successfully. We have no accepted shares yet, but hopefully that'll just here shortly. Again, the fans seem to automatically turn on for the KS0 Pro, unlike the KS0. So I haven't even set anything yet, and they have ramped up. I assume they're at auto based on the temperature. Um, Again, yeah, so it looks like right now they're at 75% um, automatically. I'm going to put them at 100, uh, mainly because these fans are super quiet anyway. And I'd rather be safe than sorry, and replacing a fan is no big deal. Um, these are just standard 5 volt, 10, millime uh, 10 millimeter thickness, 40 millimeter size fans. Wow, can't talk. So, um, and now we do have three accepted shares, so that's great. Um, you can see our temps rising, our fan speed has increased as well, now that I put in that 100%. This will stay up normal until the first five minute mark, and that is true for all ice rivers, so just something to keep in mind as you're working. But essentially, in five minutes, we're gonna hop back, make sure this has connected to the pool. Um, I doubt it's showing up pool side yet. I don't know how often k1 pool updates their api but it's probably every five minutes or so um but yeah we'll be right back once it has indeed connected so it has indeed shown up so you can see my original ks zeros all four of them and now this ks zero pro has shown up on the pool so we are mining away i don't believe this interface is quite updated yet again it takes until that five minute mark to actually um, remove the abnormal here and start putting data on this chart, but that should show up here shortly. All right, so now that we have passed that five minute mark and refreshed the page, you can see that the five minute hash rate is now normal. We are at 202 giga hash, so just above the uh, advertised amount of 200. Um, obviously, it has just started, but so far, so good, and yeah. It looks like we're all set up. Again, everything's looking fine. Temps are looking okay. The KS0 Pro does run warmer than the KS0s. Um, 
so that and it looks like they swapped the temps um, obviously the intake number is going to be less than the outtake so on the ks0 normal temp one was your intake and temp two was your exhaust but it looks like on this one they have actually reversed it um, I'm not sure if that's true on every single model it might or every single one they produce i really don't know it might just be where they got plugged in, in the motherboard um so i am not sure if that is consistent but that has been my experience is all my ks zeros uh the temp one has been the intake and the temp two has been the exhaust where it is looking like on my ks zero pro the temp one is the exhaust and the temp two is your intake uh fans are going along but yeah all seems all seems good we're on the pool we're getting hash rates we're getting shares and we're making more money. So um, that's all I got today on my KS0 Pro. Again, thank you Ice Raver for the awesome coupon and the contest. Uh, definitely appreciate it. These, I love these little miners. They're awesome for at home miners. Um, really low wattage, you know, I mean, 100 watts, guys. I mean, <laughs> can't really do much about that. Um, I mean, it, it's pretty much free money in my mind, uh, minus the initial investment. Um, I will have another ice river video coming up once my KS2 arrives, but I am not sure what day that's going to get here yet. Um, but once that comes, we'll definitely have a video. That one's going to the farm though, because it requires 240 volt. So will not be in my basement, meaning my own farm, but excited to get that when it gets here and do some overclocking on it. Comment down below, like, subscribe. Um, and that's all I got until next time.